Next up we have Amazon Essentials Ski and Snowboard Pants. So the thing to know about Amazon Essentials, or when they market it as Amazon's whatever, if someone else has a product that's very similar that starts selling really well, they'll make a knockoff version, drop the price, hit you with the targeted ad on Amazon and push it. These were 50 bucks. Do I think these are gonna be good? No, I think they're gonna be straight trash. These feel super, super cheap, but at 50 bucks, you pay for what you get with it. Just curious to see how Amazon going forward and doing knockoff stuff is going to be. Like this is their first foray into winter outerwear, especially targeting it towards snowboarders. It's a YKK zipper. Still holding. There are no flaps to speak of on this pant. So what we're gonna do is the front pocket, we're gonna unzip it, grab that little cover piece that it has and just see how that holds. Wow, that, that did not last at all. Literally obliterated the front pocket with very minimal pulling. Just to double check, we're gonna try a belt loop just to see how strong that actually is. Yep, that ripped too. This did do some damage to it. It created some crease lines and it definitely shaved off some of the fabric, but it did not rip it. So far, these have been super, super cheap. I'm not holding my brick. Oh yeah, no, that just, wow. That didn't even rip the seam, it just ripped the material. Awesome, I guess we'll just go the old fashioned way. And remember, don't do this with your stuff at home. You probably actually paid good money for real stuff. I hope, hopefully you didn't buy this cheap shit. All right, so we've cut off the waistband. And there actually is elastic on that, which is nice for when you actually pull that. So they did go that extra mile to put some elastic in there. Cutting it open, you do have your standard polyfill inside the waistband. The material is chintzy. You can see my finger through the material. So it's actually doesn't seem to be that DWR coated. Like I said, this material is really cheap. It rips with ease. One thing I want to note is the only stitching for the insulation is down the internal seam which is kind of cheap because then you get this weird separation that can happen in there and now we've got the pockets which it's actually a pretty thick material on that pocket so at the end of this zipper right here they actually used like a glued hard epoxy so that it won't separate this is actually more durable and looks like it would hold for a while uh, which is nice rather than putting like a pinched metal end cap. They actually did a really good job with that surprisingly That's one of the few things they didn't skimp on. Like I said earlier this material Just feels super cheap. You do have a long zipper with a tiny Storm flap in there so it doesn't really expand as much as others out there You do get some reinforcement on the back of the pant with actually a more durable material boot gaiter it's got a tighter seam, kind of flares a little bit, nothing mind blowing. And you do get your clip right there to go over your boots and then hook onto the lace. You got four strands of rubber for added grip, kind of standard stuff. These pants, I mean, these pants were crap. The Amazon Essentials ended up being a little bit damp after this test. It wasn't like it pooled up where the water sat, there was just a wet spot but it was more like it had seeped in and spread out. It just felt damp, and after leaving it sitting for a minute or two, it was dry, but if it's seeping in already, it's gonna fail in the long term.